In case you were wondering, the thumbnail to this video is absolutely true. John Candy was supposed to be in Pocahontas, and this Diz Fairs episode is going to break it down in short order. <laughs> Have some candy. John Candy was a brilliant comedic actor if you didn't already know who he was. Though you probably know who he is, otherwise why would you have clicked on this episode, right? But no matter. All you need to know is that he was a big name comedic actor in the 80s and early 90s. I don't want to break down his whole awesome career, but he had roles in Home Alone, Splash, Spaceballs, and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. These were huge movies in their day, and he was in tons more. I'm hard pressed to think of a single bad performance. He was great. I like, I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Cause I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Now, he unfortunately passed away in 1994 at the age of 43 from a heart attack in his sleep. But before that occurred, he had signed a deal with Disney to play Red Feather, a talking, wisecracking turkey. The choice for a turkey in Pocahontas isn't too surprising. It's what we all eat on Thanksgiving, and was even the bird Benjamin Franklin wanted to symbolize America rather than Jefferson's choice of the dove or John Adams' insistence on the bald eagle. The eagle. The dove. The turkey. And Red Feather wasn't going to be some minor role. He was supposed to be the lead sidekick throughout Pocahontas, which if you think about it would have changed the whole overall tone. And forgive me for being honest about my opinion here, but Pocahontas is kind of a dry feature. Early on in the production process, it was decided to be made into a dramatic romance story, so Disney could possibly win another Academy Award like they had recently done with Beauty and the Beast. And despite the fact that it did win the Academy Award for Best Musical, it nonetheless would have benefited greatly from John Candy's style of humor. Who wants an orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Three orange whips! Now, the character of Red Feather believed himself to be a handsome, ladies' man sort of... bird. His lines, of which there are none to be found, are said to have been reminiscent of Candy's portrayal of Dell in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which, for many, is a Thanksgiving movie. Anyway, Candy even recorded a lot, if not most of his lines, before his passing, and I'm really curious what that script looked like compared to what audiences eventually got in Pocahontas. After John Candy's death, Susanna Grant, a co-screenwriter, didn't think they should use the turkey moving forward, deciding to change the tone of the feature towards an even stronger dramatization than the initial dramaticness that they had decided on. She also made the lead characters older so they could form a more serious relationship. They say, look at me, here I am, love me. So then it was decided that none of the animals would have speaking roles moving forward. And seeing as how Red Feather didn't have any hands for miming, he was written out and replaced by Miko. Which doesn't altogether make sense to me. There seems to be a lot of potential in trying to have a turkey mime its thoughts and feelings. The choice for John Candy to be in Pocahontas may not have been as unprecedented as it first sounds. Pocahontas was directed by Mike Gabriel, who subsequently directed Rescuers Down Under, in which John Candy played an albatross named Wilbur. May I just say enchanté, senorita, to you? May I? So there was already a pre-existing relationship there. And to be honest, given how The Rescuers Down Under was received, you may be surprised that they let Mike Gabriel take another shot at an animation. But from what I've read, he initially turned it down and said he thought The Rescuers Down Under didn't look like too much fun. He was young and had never directed a feature before, so you can imagine what he must have been thinking to turn down a Disney feature at that point in his career. He was eventually talked into it months afterward. And then, given the poor reception, I guess, Disney felt inclined to move forward with Mike Gabriel's idea for making Pocahontas, which he inventively came up with during Thanksgiving. Quite right. Good idea. Quite right. Good idea. Quite right. But that's the long and very short of the story behind John Candy being in Pocahontas. Being a Disney and still a John Candy fan, it would have been great to see what could have happened if the two really came together. I suspect it would have been something akin to Robin Williams playing Genie. Alright, that's it. Happy Thanksgiving time. This fair is out.